It's like. Hello, YouTube fans. This is the Dust Card Clown. Shout out to Alex. Um, he wanted me to do a video on um, theater. Um, I don't know if it's about movie theater or just theater in general, but I'll talk about them both from what I can know and uh, muster from over the years and stuff and what I know in a spiritual enlightenment way from these movies also. So theater literally has been around since ancient times, literally, you know, they even wore the masks sometimes, you know, um, but when these evil beings came here, they took some of that from us and they made it in a way that was very, very disgusting and very, very sick, you know, um, it's kind of like what you see now in Hollywood and what you see now in these Hollywood movies, it really hasn't changed at all. What happened at Babylon is literally what's happening in the United States right now. Why? Because Babylon is United States, but so, but United States is also Atlantis. They don't want to tell you that. Yes, United States is Atlantis. Where's Atlantis? You're standing right in front of it, motherfucker. <laughs> Most people are like, wait, wait a minute, didn't it fell on the ground? Some pieces of it did, not all of it. Trust me, they know. Atlantis used to be massive, massive. Yes, all right. And the thing is, you know, the way you see, um, you know, like. Um, you know, Canada and South Africa, um, South America and all that, that, that whole thing is literally, um, Atlantis, the whole thing, the whole thing is Atlantis, you know? Um, so anyways, theater used to be around a wire, um, a long time, for well, a very, very long time. And theater would never go away, same thing with wrestling. Theater and wrestling, I could see those things never going away, but, um, something in technology and another thing too is that um in theater there's a reason why sometimes they didn't use women they usually use the men that just as women why because they try to tell you that they'll they're they're trans man you're trying to tell you that there's some celebrities here there are some celebrities that you watch that are literally trans and you don't even know it for example, the new Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Yes, he's a trance. Most people are like, no, he's not. He's a he's a guy. He's actually a tranny, dude. He really is. And Zendaya, she's a guy too. <laughs> yes, guys. Yes. Most people are like, but I've been seeing her when she was a little kid. This is what they do, guys. To be famous, you have to do two things. You either you got to kill your own family member to get famous. You have to do something else, like a blood sacrifice, like killing a baby, or you have to sacrifice your gender. I found that shit out this year. I'm like, you could do that? And it's like, yeah, you could. When I found that shit out, I'm like, are you fu Are you kidding me? And people think this is all like fantasy and shit, but you will believe a guy that's in the sky. Again, going back, you, you won't believe UFOs exist, but you will believe a guy in the sky? Guys, come on, man. Like, for real. Humor me a bit then, you know? At least humor me a bit. If you don't think I'm all right, you know, if you don't think, if you don't believe me. For example, Lady Gaga, she's a dude. I'm sorry to tell you. Most people be like, no, she's not. I'm sorry to tell you, but she is. And she's not the only one. Beyonce is a, is a guy. Jay-Z is a woman. <laughs> okay, this is what, this is what it is. You guys can fight with me and all that shit, but this is what it is. And I'm sorry to tell you, I wouldn't lie. I'll say you this, I wouldn't lie. Because I know how karma is, <laughs> okay? Karma will bite me in the ass, <laughs> okay? Literally, she will smack my ass. If you lie. Because that's how karma works. And no, I'm not trying to get karma. Last time I got karma, that probably was karma. It probably was my fault. Yeah, it was something else about me hurting my leg or something like that. Um, cause sometimes that does happen, you know, sometimes, um, you do stuff and you hurt your body and you'd be like, was this karma or was it me? And then, I'll, and then you sometimes think, be like, actually it probably was me because I didn't look where I was going, <laughs> you know, it was me. It was all me. Cause you just think, and it's like, it's probably was my fault. Sorry. You know, but, um, either way it would be your fault. <laughs> it's true. Either you fucked up and not looking for example, or you fucked up by karma, you know, so, and this is what some of these evil beings are going to get, they're going to get karma, really bad karma, because nature wants their blood, they do, nature wants their blood on the floor, yes, 
most people are like, I thought nature is supposed to be kind and all that. She is. She is kind and beautiful. But if you fuck with her babies and you kill her and you try to kill her and try to control her, her and you try to control the planet, she's going to be pissed off. Of course, she won't want that. She would never want that. That's why she's pissed off that people are using her blood in the fucking cause. Yes, the oil that you use, that's her blood. And she's not happy about that. So the people that you know that use cause, that using gasoline, guess what's going to happen to them? Yeah, they're going to die. Because the planet, because she's pissed off. She's pissed off, dude. You can't calm her down. All right, I've tried. I've tried. She's pissed. All right, she's really, really pissed off. That's why sometimes when you see floods happening, if that happens around your neighborhood, just go up a mountain somewhere and stay far away from that shit because she's doing her thing. Let her do her thing and don't get in the way, okay? This is, this is, let, um, you know, let, um, the galaxy mama and, the, and let the planet mama do her thing, all right? Get on her way and she'll smack your ass, okay? Literally. So don't do, don't, you know. So anyways, theater has been around for, for quite a while and they do a lot of things in theater. Again, it goes back to, um, these movies and these movies these Hollywood movies show what um, they do. These Hollywood movies show what they do in real life. And they also show sometimes lies. So people can actually be like, did that really happen? Like, for example, 2012, the movie 2012, when that big disaster stuff and all that, they, they made that movie so you can actually th think about something like that happening. So it can actually, so it can actually happen. Most people are like, really? Are you serious? Yes, it's called magic. Yes, it's magic. It is. It's magic. It's um. What also they call it? It's called um. Damn, I forgot what it's called at this moment. But it's almost like um. It's almost like they're trying to trick your mind into something that um, that they want you to manifest because they can't manifest it. Most people are like, are you serious? Yes. Like what you saw in nine eleven. They can't do nine eleven without you saying yes. That happened, okay? And most people are like, we didn't say yes to that. Yes, you did. Because they showed it in movies, and you saw it, and you didn't say anything. So in their eyes, they said, oh, okay, we could do it. They showed it in the Super Mario Brothers movie, when we saw the Twin Towers fading away. Yeah, one example. And another example is some other movies showing, like, 9-11, the, the September 21st, um, 2000, and um, September 20. First, 2001, basically, September, recently, yeah. Oh, I think I was right on that. I'm sorry, guys. But there's so many stuff with that. And also, too, when you watch TVs, they also do the same thing, too. Like, news and all that shit. Yes, okay? They do. Because um, I found out when the 9-11 stuff happened and all that. Look, the people in the building, they mostly did die. The people in the plane... There was no people in the plane, dude. Most people are like, what? But, but but all these people that said that their family members died on the plane. Yeah, guess what? They're captured. They're cap they literally switched planes, basically. The, they took the pe the passengers that went on the plane that supposedly got hit in the World Trade Center. They took that plane and took another plane and had a remote, con remote control at it. And then they freaking um went to it. Straight at it. Most people would be like, oh, I don't believe that. There's a guy that's named David Wilcock, and he literally mentioned it. He literally, a guy from the military literally told him that he saw a man literally playing with a fucking controller, aiming to the fucking towers with a plane that with nobody inside. So, other people might be like, okay, so what happened to the rest of the people that were in the plane that they captured? They either kidnapped them, used them as slaves, ate them, or killed them. They could, some of them could still be alive, but to be honest, they're probably not here on this planet, man. They're not. You know, like in the movie Jupiter Ascending, they told you this in Jupiter Ascending. The, um, one of the characters literally tells Jupiter, you, ju your planet is a farm Jupiter. There's a hundreds, hundreds of planets that are like yours, which you'd be like, wait a minute, our planet is a farm? Yes, our planet is a farm for these evil beings. They eat us. They eat us. Remember that whole meme that you probably saw? Like, oh, what if extraterrestrials made us so we can so they can feed on us? Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't make the we didn't well 
there's a there's we, oh, there's a weird thing that goes to that because Hispanics, so-called Hispanics and black people, we actually did made these evil beings. Yes. Most people are like, what the fuck did you do? In ancient times, we we made other beings that were humanoid. It we were not supposed to do that. We broke the law. The most high, the most high, you can call it God or something, but we are gods. But the law, the the most high, the Lord, literally told us to not make humanoid beings like a feline and a Draco or an AI. But that's what we did. That's what we did. And we fucked a lot of shit up here. And not to say, and not to say, these evil beings didn't come down here. They did. Evil beings came down here, saw what we look like, and saw what we were doing, and took advantage of that. They did. They took advantage of it, and they fucked us over really, really hard. You know. And most people are like, how come the Lord didn't stop it and all that? Because the reason the universe and the Lord work together, and they see what's going to happen at the end of all of this. So they let it happen because they knew that we were going to go spiritually and mentally, and then over the generations, we won't need, um, like towers basically because we had tree towers and um metal towers all um a long time ago, and then they they fell and shit. They chopped them down and crap. And most people are like we can rebuild them, right? Of course, yeah. I think we're going to do that anyways once we come back. We don't need them. We really don't. We don't need them, but we will probably will um, rebuild them. You know, most likely, because why wouldn't we, you know, um, they were there for a reason. It was us to level us up, basically, you know, to help us um, get used to these powers, how to use them and all that. Go to the trees and talk to them and everything like that. And they show you this in a lot, a lot of movies. They do like the Avatar. Yes. With the blue people, they show it. They show it in that movie. That's why when they show them destroying the trees and all that, that's what really happened to us. To so-called black people and Hispanic people. That's all history. Yes. And most people are like, what's the white people's history? <laughs> you want me to tell you? <laughs> uh, that's your history too. Most people are like, what? What's our history? You coming down and destroying us. Yes, that's your history. Most people are like, what the fuck? Yes, this is, this is a fucked up situation here, guys. Your founding fathers fucked up. You, it, yes, they fucked up. That's why this whole thing that's going to happen this year in 2020 and the end of 2020 and a little bit of 2021, war is going to happen and blood is going to be shed. And a lot of people sometimes don't want to look at my videos because they'd they be like, what the fuck? I don't want to hear this shit. But I'm like, you have to know the truth. Just because you won't make it does not mean you don't have to know the truth. You should know the truth. And don't blame us because we're going after you. You have that bloodline and your founding fathers left you here to pay their debt. That's kind of fucked up in my opinion. Come on, man. You got to think about that. Don't blame us for killing you just because your ancestors left you here because they fucked up really ha really, really bad. And most people are like, what did they do to us? They showed it in movies and video games also. They sex trafficking us. They ate us. They raped us. And they also spread us apart so we can fight amongst each other. That's what they did to Hispanics and black people. And then they have white people that don't know, that are clueless to the situation. Some of them know and want to help. And then other ones, oh, just want to destroy everything. And if, and if one of their own tries to help, they kill them too. Even though so-called Hispanics and black people are not supposed to interact with them at all. We're not even supposed to mate with you guys. We're not. We're not supposed to mate with you guys. Most people will be like, what? I'm like, yes, we're not supposed to. We're different species. You're supposed to mate with your own species and we're supposed to mate with our own species. Why do you think back in, you know, slavery time, why do you think back then a black guy didn't want his son or daughter dating a white woman? There was a reason for that. You know, most people be like, it's racist. But yet when you look at the, when you look back at who made racism, it was a white man. Everything that they done, they turn it and flip it just to blame it on us. And then going back, and most people are like, what does it have to do with theater? A lot of shit, actually. Especially movies. Like, the movie Roots, they completely lie to you about that movie. You won't like that at all. You won't like that. They want you to put that in your mindset so you could be like, yeah, 
us, we were slaves, we went through so much torture, and we still going through much. I'm like, no, dude, the reason you're going through much now is because they know who you are. You're a holy serpent, you're a, you're a fucking naga. You're a naga. Oh, don't say that, that's rude. Saying nigga is rude? Naga. Holy serpent. Look up, you, look up naga. If you get offended of the word naga, you should blame these video game companies, because they put, they make enemies that are called naga. And they look like snakes. That's you and me. You should be off <laughs> If you're offended, you should be offended about that. Because they're basically telling you you're an asshole and you're a villain. Which we're not. Some of us are. Let yes, it goes back to the whole Bible thing. Sashan. Yes. Sashan, aka Goddess Hortha. Goddess Hothor is Satan. That's what she looks like. Satan is a woman. She is. She's right here. I drew that in shit. So you can see a better look at it. Her different forms. That's her forms. But her final form literally is Godzilla. That's what she looks like. Most people are like, ah, come on. That's what she looks like. Look at all the freaking pictures of Archangel Joe Michael slaying sla Satan. It literally looks like Godzilla. Literally, it does. And when you look at it, you're like, the fuck? And you're like, yeah. It was in my face this whole time too, and I didn't fucking notice it until like what the beginning of this year or the almost the end of this year. I'm just like, <laughs> you know. But the reason it goes to theater is because they put this shit in a lot of movies, like the Godzilla movies and um the Matrix movies, the They Live movie. You know, it, and theater has been around forever. And the thing is, they and Alex, I think you wanted me to do also a video of how they could distract you and stuff. This goes to it. They they make video games. They have they make um movies and they make um um cell phones and all that so that you could be distracted all the time. But the thing is, if you look at these movies in a spiritual enlightenment way, you're not distracted. You they're actually telling you or who you were or what happened during your history. Same thing with your superhero movies, the superhero comic books. What they did is that they took those comic books and they nuffed it and they made it into a way that is suitable for their needs, basically. They just nuffed it. They What they did is that they had these ancient tablets that we never seen and they kept it and they took it and they made it into a comic book called Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Yes, that's what they did. When I found that shit out, I'm like, are you, are you, what? Yes. That, that tells you that they're all beings that are all like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, which is us. It is. Not like, I'm sorry to say it, some, some not like these orcs, which is white people. Most people are like, how, what, what? See, when I mention that shit, I don't want people to be so, there are all people that are going to be offended by it. Like, like generally orcs like orcs that know the truth basically you know so-called white people that all orcs part of that bloodline that don't know i don't want you guys to get offended by it why because you guys should know the truth of who you are it's like me learning the truth of who i am you know and yes yeah, so you probably don't want to know the other stuff about the truth like your own kind being slaughtered and shit but it has to be said I don't want to look at your face and be like, yeah, that's the only thing. And there's nothing else, you know? And then when you find out, you're going to be like, you didn't fucking tell me you fucking prick. You know? Come on, man. I don't want to do that to you. But um, I'll probably do another video of a theater or something. But uh, I, I went a little bit on a tangent about the theater on other stuff besides theater. But this goes a little bit with theater, too. But if I make a part two, I'll make a part two. But um, shout out to you, Alex. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and other people too, but um, I will make it a part two if, if anything, so I'll see you guys.